Welcome everyone at Open Door event at Collegium Medicum in Bydgoszcz in Poland. We have gathered here today to invite you to study at our university. During our meeting you will have a chance to talk to us through Skype and ask us a variety of questions. Our first guest today, Rector of Collegium Medicum, could not be here with us, but Professor Jan Staczynski did manage to have a short interview with us here. So now let's see the material. Good morning, Rector. Good morning, Paulina. You are in charge of this medical university which opens its doors to foreign students. Could you tell us which fields of education are currently available for the students in the English language program? We already started in 2009 with six-year med medical program for foreign students and soon our first graduates will leave our university and finish their program. And in which direction is the development of the English language program going at our university? Really, each of our faculties is offering a program in uh, English for foreign students. Apart from medical program, last year we started with programs in physiotherapy and nursing and this year a program in English in laboratory medicine. And how do you think it's going to prosper in the future? I hope successfully. Uh, first of all, we want to increase the number of our students, uh, especially in, in uh, physiotherapy, nursing and laboratory medicine. This is the offer for, for people from different countries and also for people with Polish background. On the other hand, we want to have higher level of integration of our current uh, foreign students with Polish students and Polish doctors in the area of social life and, and research. Thank you very much. Thank you. During our today's meeting, we will show you our educational offer, but also different aspects of Polish culture. Let's see foreign students and their version of Polish cuisine. What are you making here? We're making the very popular Polish pierogies here. And how do you like this task? Actually, I love pierogies, uh, it's my favorite food, and this is actually the very first time I'm making it, so I'm really excited. Okay, it is a time-consuming task, but I'm sure the taste rewards its work. Do we have a chocolate plum here? Yes, we do. It, um, these are just one of the many uh, different Polish sweets we have here, and uh, that's also just one of my many favorites of the Polish sweets. Is it true that you are taking them home because they are so yes, good? Yes, my family can't get enough of them, so I bring them back whenever I can. And what about you? Uh, I like the uh, Toruńskie Pierniki, which is uh, gingerbread and chocolate, so I bring that home for my family. As you can see, we have many good local sweets. Our next guest is Professor Arkadiusz Javin. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. You are the initiator of the English language program here at our university, and you are the director of Center of Medical Education in English. Could you tell us who are the addressees of the program? Uh, we are expecting, in fact, all the uh, young people who want to study medicine, and obviously they should graduate from the high school. Uh, to be a good medical student, you have to remember that we will require a very good knowledge of biology, physics and chemistry. And this is a sort of requirement if you want to study in our medical school. Obviously, uh, we look for the young people who are very much involved and wants to really be a medical doctors. So that means that uh, they should be characterized by the passion in the medical field. And tell me, do the students have different expectations when they come here? Uh, if, if you compare the international student to the Polish one, the expectation seems to be the same. They are coming here because they want to get as the, the, the knowledge, the medical knowledge, as good as we can provide. And obviously, uh, they are different from Polish students because they are coming from different countries with different habits, different customs. But uh, obviously when they come here, they have to obey certain things. But on the other hand, they are providing us with a, a fantastic flavor of international students. So what we have seen here, they are cooking the Polish food, but obviously they, have, they all also provide us or they bring us uh, their own food which we can test. Here. And Professor, you are a very well-known figure in the surgical world and you have mastered all the skills required in your profession. Do we offer anything unique for our students so they can become the future of medicine? Uh, I think there are several things, but I, I will just mention one, which is a, a sort of contest which we organize in Poland every year. It is called the Golden Scapula. What is a golden scapula? It is a contest in anatomy. Mm -hmm. We have to remember that for all doctors, doesn't matter what sort of specialty they want to have in the future, the queen of medicine is anatomy. 
And I am repeating that to my students almost every day, especially for those who want to be uh, surgeons or being and uh, working in so-called uh, operative uh, uh, field in the future. So the Golden Scapula is one of the best uh, program in Poland. It is organized by uh, medical schools in Poland for all students of the first year. And I want to tell you that we are very happy because last year our international students who took part in this mm -hmm. contest, they were a winner of this Golden Scapula. So we are very proud because that shows that we are teaching them well, but on the other hand, we have a very skilled and nice and good, well-educated students too. That's a great achievement. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. And now let's see the surgeons to be and how they are dealing with the surgical skills. Could you briefly tell us what are you doing here? Uh, we're teaching how to make stitches, like first for some people this first time, mm -hmm. for some people they know how to do the single stitches and, and want to learn something more uh, complicated. Okay, thank you. And uh, do you think it's a demanding task? Uh, it's very fun. It's difficult the first time, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And tell me, does every single student have the possibility to practice such a thing? Yes, uh, both at school and after spare time. Okay, thank you very much. Our next guest is Dr. Maciej Soha. Good morning. Good morning. You are a doctor, but also you are the lecturer of our English language program students. Could you tell us if they are a demanding group? Uh, well, it's quite a tricky question because uh, they are really different uh, comparing to our Polish students. Uh, but uh, you know, for them, Poland is very different. So in my opinion, we're so beautifully different that uh, it's not the matter of uh, demanding of anything. It's just a matter of uh, uh, being together. At our department where uh, I have the possibility to work, uh, mm -hmm. we're trying to get as close as it's possible to the patients. We're trying to get to know uh, gynecological field, all the medicine. And I think it's a quite good choice for them uh, to be in Poland and comparing to other countries. I really, really encourage them to be with us. And tell me, what are the advantages of teaching such a group for you? Uh, well, for me personally, uh, the only problem is English. It's not my mother language, of course. Uh, but uh, English division students, they're very, very well assimilated. Uh, well, I'm meeting them on the fifth or sixth year of their studies. So uh, uh, they're trying to speak Polish. Uh, they're really, really uh, good sometimes uh, in the matter of pronunciation. So uh, sometimes it's a very, very good platform for education and, uh, and actually meeting. So for them, sometimes it's so very easily to uh, get to the patient when they're just trying to say Dzień uh, dobry, so hello, Polish hello, uh, you know, it's helping them uh, to find uh, a way to communicate with the patient. So it's not that bad at all. So speaking of Polish language, how do you think the students adapted our country? Uh, you know, from, well, in my opinion, it's not even the matter of uh, adaptation, it's just the matter of assimilation. Uh, uh, they're very, very open-minded and uh, we love that. Uh, Polish students uh, want to uh, uh, get to know English division students, mm -hmm. they're just uh, trying to stay with us. So yes, they are, in my opinion, very, very well adapted, uh, assimilated as well. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Our students study a lot but they also are enjoying their free time. Now I invite you to watch the material from the entertainment room and to see how they spend their time in their students' room. studying here? How do you like studying in, in the international environment? I love studying in the international environment. So many different people from everywhere and you you just learn how to talk to people from all over the world. It's very nice. Thank you.
Okay, welcome in our kitchen. We are going to make pancakes. Mm -hmm. From North America. Your very own recipe. Nope, it's from the North America. Okay. <laughs> Our next guest is Dr. Paweł Zalewski. Good morning. Good morning. You are in charge of the coordination of the studies in the field of uh, nursing and physiotherapy. Is it a new thing at our university? Yes, yeah, indeed, it's quite a new thing. Uh, we are quite experienced with uh, physiotherapy and nursing students uh, who come here to Erasmus program. And that's why we decided to invite them for the full courses in physiotherapy and nursing. And why did you decide to choose these programs? Did you make any research before you did? Yes, we did some research and we, we decided because we have a quite good staff and we quite, are quite experienced with uh, teaching in English, physiotherapy and nursing. That's why we decided to extend our offer for the full-time um, courses for these students. And from which countries will the students come? We are quite wide open for all kind of students from all sides of the world, mm -hmm. but we are especially open for students with the Polish background. That's, we are very, very welcome for them. That's a very interesting offer. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Our students have great care at our university, and in order to prove that, let's see the material from the Dean's office. Good morning, Natalia. You are the office manager of Center of Medical Education in English. Could you tell us why do the students decide to study at our university? I believe they decide to apply to Collegium Medicum because of our good reputation among students, because of our attractive educational offer, as well as perfect student accommodation. And where do you usually come from? Uh, they come from Scandinavian countries in majority, Norway, Sweden and Denmark, as well as other countries, uh, UK, Ireland, Spain, Italy and some from Poland as well. Okay, thank you very much. We have here our actual students at our university who talk with the future students. So tell me, do they have any interesting questions? Yes, they have uh, mostly two common questions, which is one is around if they can use their diploma around the world, which is obviously yes. And uh, mo the other most common question is about the payment of the school, which is very reasonable. Okay, and was there anything surprising? Yeah, they ask about the weather here in Poland. They want to know is it warm or, and how it is to study with all the international students from all over the world, okay. how, how the environment is. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. So as you can see, studying here at Collegium Medicum is a great adventure, both academically and culturally. So, see you in Bitgosht. <laughs>